So you caught up with me, huh? Been working on a new reel for a customer who ordered one of these. Dude, these things are starting to turn out better. <laughs> See, we got the flare on them now, right? Front of the reel, and there's the back. It's plain, so you know that the back of the reel there. The development of these, this is the first one I made. You see this one in most of the videos. You see it doesn't have the flare. It's just like a, like almost like a bicycle wheel. I use this for trolling all the time. It mostly rests on the floor of the boat like that while I'll be trolling or it's sitting on the handle of the motor and, I, and I'm trolling and stuff with it. Then I said, well, maybe I ought to have one for trolling and one for casting. So I made a, this one, all right? As you can see, I put my Black Soldier flies here. I got my clip on here where I put my float and I can cast this pretty well. This is about 600 yards, a 15 pound test line. And then that goes down to this swivel that's going down to my regular eight pound line that I use for uh, bluegill and stuff. It's about half the size and width of this one. It's almost like sculpting really, almost like see what the wood's gonna produce. And you get these little knots here, a knot there, these little imperfections like that. Actually to me give it character. The, the line there where I put the both halves together, I actually took my boat builder's epoxy and mixed it in with some wood flour and then put it up, put it together while they were still just in block form, pressed it down and let it, you know, let the epoxy soak into the wood, things like that. So you have a wood and epoxy joint there as opposed to just wood glue, because wood glue is just not as strong and adhesive. So I think Rat Dog said I ought to mention it. You know, somebody mentioned that these wood float these wheels look too good to use. You guys, you see me using them all, at, all the time when I go fishing. And uh, these things are built to be durable. They're built to last 100 years, I'm gonna be honest with you. How do you know they're gonna last 100 years? Because I use the same building techniques with this that you use to build a wooden boat that's designed to last 100 years. And by that, I mean I use boat builders epoxy. The same way boat builders would have their panels, you know, the way you put a boat together, or let's say you had a, 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 a boat that had a, a, a frame joint or whatever in it, or a scarf joint or a butt joint, you know, you know, butt joint, same thing. You just put, you put epoxy glue down. I was going to put fiberglass, but I figured that'd be too hard on my lathing tools because the epoxy is tough enough. The wood's just giving it the shape. The epoxy is giving it the strength because this epoxy is boat builder's epoxy. This stuff is designed to cross oceans. You can build your boat to cross oceans, right? So that's what this is made for. It's meant to be durable, right? I'm doing this with a, I'm doing that with a, with a customer's reel. So it's, that's because that's what they're going to be doing with it on their boat. You see any scratches? That's only with one coating. I put two coats of the boat builder's epoxy on. Then I put varnish on top of that to keep their UV rays from killing it. So if I'm just slamming it down like that on a customer's reel, I mean, I, <laughs> you know, this one's been on the bottom of the boat. As you can see, it has some little pieces of paint on it, things like that. They're not indestructible, but they are very durable. Uh, hook keepers, and I'm not really, they're not really doing what I thought they would. Once I get that first coat, it's time to sand it. And I'll just sit out here outside and sanding. Medium grit is plenty good enough. But it just took me a while to figure out how to get that lip on there, that little, now, oh, see now you can use this one for trolling and casting. So your line will be sort of wrapped here and then it'll just spin off like that. Really a, a nice thing. And once we get the, all the epoxies on there and varnishes, it'll be nice and smooth and um, you always hold it toward the direction that you're casting. So when you spin up the cast, you just put that out, it'll just spin off, man. <laughs> So that's what they look like, man. If you're interested in these, um, they're on the website, first of all. Second, if you want to join the email list where I'll be giving updates of the upcoming class that I'm putting together about the Handliners Handbook, check that out. I mean, put that on there and I'll send you update as I have those. And that'll be sort of off of YouTube and be on my Teachable page when I get that up and running. You've seen me fish with these all the time. This is something I have to pass on to other people but I'm only wanting to pass it on to people who are serious about it. While I like entertaining people here on YouTube, you know, I have some serious stuff to pass on to teach people the things that I've learned. And I want to do that on my own website, uh, on Teachable, on the own email list, things like that. So if you're interested, go check those out. I'm dead serious about it. And uh, the links will be in the description or they should be popping up, whatever. And uh, hey, I'll talk to you later.